Well, good evening everybody and welcome to our webinar about using Project X to raise reading standards in your school. We really, really do appreciate you giving up your time to join us this evening. Uh, no one's time is more precious than a teacher's time, we all know that, so thank you for joining us. I guess um, if you're listening live, some of you uh, might be at school in the staff room, uh, some of you might be at home snuggled up on the sofa with a cup of tea. Either way, uh, you're really welcome and we hope you find the next 30 minutes useful. So why are we here? What are we hoping to achieve? Well, it's really, really straightforward. Uh, we hope that in half an hour's time, you'll have a much better grasp of PX than you do already. We hope that you'll be able to have a better understanding of the pedagogy behind it, the characters in it, and how it works. And then you can maybe start deciding whether or not Project X might be an appropriate resource for your school. So it's a really simple structure tonight. We're going to start off by thinking about PX Origins. That's the guided reading scheme part of the Project X family. Uh, then we'll think about PX Comprehension Express. Then we'll finish off by thinking about the other parts of the PX family. What else we have in the, in the PX suite of resources. So PX Origins, Comprehension Express, and then we'll look at what else comes with, with, with PX. So, uh, my name's Andrew, I was a primary school teacher for almost 20 years, and it's my great pleasure to be joined this evening by Rachel, Nicola and Nicola. Uh, between us, I'm sure that we'll be able to explain all about PX to you and make sure that it's a good use of your time. So, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking and let's start by thinking, as I say, about PX origins. Uh, we know that it's part of the PX family, we know that it's a guided reading scheme. Uh, in summary, uh, let's go to Rachel for this one. In summary, Rachel, how would you explain uh, PX Origins to someone who's not particularly familiar with it? So, as you said, Andrew, Project X Origins was built specifically for guided reading for the whole school. The books are all carefully levelled and each one comes with detailed teaching guidance. They're all underpinned by the Oxford Reading Criterion Scale, which really informs the approach to assessment and there's also full coverage of all UK curricula fully up to date and mapped within our teaching resources. Um, developed by comprehension experts it's designed to develop an enthusiasm for reading in young children even those who are more reluctant because motivation is such a key component to, component to reading success. In Project X Origins the two uppermost values are engagement and comprehension. The books are first and foremost great reads the pacey, action-packed adventures draw young readers in and they maintain a pace and level of anticipation that keeps children reading on. And we really see this when we go out to schools. We see lots of examples on World Book Day of children dressed up as characters from Project X and we see children playing in the playground pretending to be characters from Project X. So we really see um, really that enthusiasm for the stories and how exciting the children find them. All of the books have also been carefully levelled, so you know as a teacher that all of that work has been done to ensure that children are getting just the right amount of stretch and challenge. There's lots of opportunities right from the start to apply and reinforce children's decoding skills. And there's also comprehensive teaching support to help you develop comprehension skills as they go on and encourage children to really interrogate texts. Talk's also a really important element of um, Project X Origins. And the discussion of text provides lots of opportunities for pupils to learn from each other and to develop their, vo their vocabulary, which we all know is really important. Um, learning to listen to others and to exchange views on a text is really crucial to developing great social skills um, and making sure that reading really is a communicative activity. Um, there's also plenty of support within the series for formative and summative assessment. Um, so you can track and monitor each individual child's progress and really to help inform your choices um, about the books for the children to ensure that the, you're getting the right level to meet every group's needs. Great, thanks Rachel, that's brilliant. Now, one, one quick glance at the Project X resources, not just Origins, but any of the PX resources, and you'll see that it's not a typical primary school resource, if you like. 
Uh, most of the characters in the stories are boys. It has a really contemporary look, it's really striking, it's quite funky. Um, and Nicola, I wonder if, if you could maybe explain to us what's all that about? Why does it have such a striking appearance and content? Well, Project X um, Origins is very much backed by um, robust research into how boys engage with reading. Um, this is a, at its very core. Um, so it's about what engages and motivates boys to read um, and, and keep, keeping that sort of momentum going um, for, for children um, that, that learn to read in that way. Um, so let's have a little bit of a closer kind of examination of that. Um, in Project X Origins, we have, um, for a start, we have recurring characters with strong personalities. So we, that's including Cat, our strong female character, and, um, and the boys who love adventures, show their emotions, value teamwork and friendship, enjoy reading and value learning. And of course, uh, avoiding stereotypes um, through these different aspects. There's an overarching macro plot that develops as the series progresses and keeps that engagement. We've got fast-paced adventures full of action, adventure and fantasy. There's also a strong thematic structure, Andrew, um, encouraging children to see how different aspects of a theme link together across fiction and non-fiction. So there's something for everybody, something for every boy there. Um, and the approach to learning underpinning Project X is active, interactive and experiential. All those important ingredients. Brilliant. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really pleased, Nicola, that you put on the slide the, the thing about the recurring characters. Yeah. Uh, I was in the school not so long ago and it was really striking that the, chil the recurring characters mm. being that children right across the school all know those characters. Well, they connect with them. They make those the, those key connections, which is so important when children are learning to read and learning to engage with, with reading and with books. And I just particularly love the fact this particular school that I was in, but it didn't matter whether you were in kind of year one or year Absolutely. five. Absolutely. You knew exactly. And you grow with them. Yeah. That's the thing. You could roll them, made them in the playground. It was exactly. Cool. And this is what they do. Yeah. No, I saw it. It's absolutely. Absolutely. One of his best features, I think. Okay, back to Rachel. So we know it's a guided reading scheme. Um, we know that it's particularly boy friendly without alienating girls. Uh, what else can you tell us about it? Let's delve in a bit deeper. Okay, so we're going to start with the characters, funnily enough. So we've got um, a little bit of information up here on the slides that gives you a little bit of the backstory of each of the characters. And, and as Nicola and you, Andrew, just mentioned that there really is something that everybody in the class can connect to and children mm -hmm. really, we find that children really find themselves identifying really strongly with the characters. Um, they appear in both the character fiction stories and also the non-fiction books in Project Tech's Origins, so you get that real continuous thread Connection. all the way through. Um, there's four main characters, the four friends, they're all very different to each other, but they get on really well and have adventures together. Um, the personalities are really key here because they develop and grow with the reader, um, enabling children to identify with the kids in the story and develop a deeper understanding of the characters and stories as they grow up. Um, and this is also really important for reading between the lines because as you get to know the characters more and more as the story goes along, um, that's really where some of the comprehension skills like inference come in because children are required to read between the lines about what's happening and how um, the characters in the story might feel as things go along based on their prior knowledge mm. of, of the children and their characters. Mm. Research shows us that familiar characters are a number one hook for young readers, particularly boys. So as the characters evolve and have different adventures, it's offering us both familiarity and variety. Mm. Um, as well as engaging children with reading, the characters provide children with a wealth of stimulus for talk and writing um, and even play in the pay playground. You see, um, we've seen some wonderful examples of um, children dressing up as the characters for mm. World Book Day that people have sent yeah. in to us. We we've seen for ourselves with our own eyes, children in the playground reenacting stories mm. from the Project Tech. Really, so they really, yeah. really internalise it and take mm. on board these, these characters and really love them, um, which obviously is very motivational. It gives children in the class common ground because obviously you've got a class that's full of lots of different personalities. Um, so every child could be reading a project textbook. They've got those that connection of the same characters so that they can talk about them and share their experiences of reading with the friends, which transforms reading into a communicative process just as it should be. Um, 
And then I'm going to move on to talk to you about the adventure. So I'm going to tell you a little story. Oh, looking forward to this. So one day, <laughs> Max finds a mysterious silver box. He and his friends open the box. Inside, they find four watches and a note. Keep us secret. Keep us safe. Tiger tries one of the watches. He turns a dial, pushes a button, and shrinks to micro size. So begins a series of amazing micro adventures. So that gives you a little Brilliant. bit of a feel for Love Project it. 10. <laughs> Love it. In reception in year one, these character stories revolve around these fun micro adventures. And then as you get into year two or P3, five, the stories grow in sophistication. Children find out more about the watches and where they came from eventually discovering the identity of their creator when they get to year three or P4, the villainous Dr. X. As we go into years four to six or P5 to seven, the children, now they're older, take on challenging missions as Team X micro agents equipped with incredible micro machines. They encounter the sinister collector whose aim is to shrink and steal valuable objects for his snow globe collection. Really <laughs> wacky, I know, but children love that wackiness. They do. Yeah. Um, these junior novels use richer language to extend children's comprehension and reading stamina. This is overarching macro plot to all the Project Tech character books, a bit like a soap. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you a bit about thematic clusters, which Nicola also mentioned. Um, so they come in thematic clusters of five, all at the same level of difficulty. You can see an example here on screen. Um, of one of the thematic um, clusters. Um, it's based on knights and castles. It gives teachers lots of scope for developing cross-curricular themes and for bringing them to life by capturing children's imaginations. Each cluster has two fiction books that feature the characters Max, Cat, Ant and Tiger and one book that doesn't. This means that a wide range of characters, settings and genres is also covered. There's also two non-fiction books in each cluster, one in which the characters appear and one in which they don't. So let's move on to take a closer look at some page spreads from a couple of examples. So you can you can see Dungeon Jet Danger on the left. That's an example of a character fiction spread from the Knights and Castles cluster. You can see here how these 3D illustrations really pop from the page and give a sense of realism, bring things to mm -hmm. life for children in these unusual settings that they might not be familiar with. Um, in this case, a historical setting. And here on the right, there's an example of one of the non-fiction titles from the same cluster, the Knight's Handbook. You can see the richness and variety in text and visual styles, which is really important that children become familiar with. And you can also see here the sort of lovely sense of fun in the artwork um, that really breathes lives into topics that could just be done in quite a dry Absolutely. way um, and just lose children on the way. The non-fiction titles are also great for familiarising children with non-fiction layouts and getting them to notice features on non-fiction text, which, as we know, is really important to prepare them for some of the assessment that they'll face. Um, the other titles in Project Text Origins allow children to access a wider range of texts, from funny stories to scary ones, and to begin to develop their own personal favourites. Um, they include some poetry and scripts, too, so children are able to read the full range of genres. Um, the visual richness and the variety of the text really does match the range of the genres and text types that are covered. Um, and you can see here the resource structure, an overview of the resource structure of Project Text. We've continued to publish into the series ever since it was first launched, um, really to retain that sense of freshness and discovery and to extend the range and variety the series offers. And it's really become quite a, a big beast now. Um, I'm going to pause for a moment to give you a chance to take a look at that um, so you can see yourself. That's great. Brilliant. Thank you, Rachel. I was particularly struck by what you were saying about the artwork, actually. Mm. When I go in and speak to children in schools, that's one of the things that they, mm. they really do talk about. Brilliant. OK, uh, Nicola S. <laughs> I'm going to bring you in now. Uh, now, when I was back in the classroom, one of the things that I was always... Uh, quite obsessed about was the planning that came with resources. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know what was the pedagogy behind it, was it good quality, was it going to save me time, was my TA be, uh, going to be able to work with it. So I wonder if you can take us through the planning that comes with PX Origins. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Andre. Um, the planning that comes with Project X Origins is really, I think, the most important part. Obviously, we want the children to be engaged and motivated, but our main aim is to save teachers time and ensure that they are hey, delivering hey. to the best of their, <laughs> their abilities. Um, so I'll just walk you through how Project X Origins does that. 
So first of all, the Oxford Reading Criterion scale, scale enables you to assess the children and clearly identify which Oxford level they should be reading at, as well as which skills they need to develop. The levels provide gentle progression in reading and they are linked to the age-related expectations. So you can see exactly where each child is at and then link it directly to um, the book for them to read. The teaching handbooks clearly identify where to find opportunities for developing comprehension, grammar, punctuation and spelling as well as phonics. And then you have some really easy to use charts which mean that, you, mean that you can quickly select a text in a level that is matched exactly to the skill that you're working on with a child. So for example, if you want to focus on vocabulary or you work, want to work on grammar opportunities. The guided reading notes are designed to be a tool for teachers. So what they do is they actually allow you the freedom to focus on the teaching of reading and not on the planning. We offer a lot of support for this as well. On Oxford Owl website, you'll find best practice videos that you and your TAs can use so that you can get the most out of the teaching tools within the programme. OK, we can just take a look at the guided reading notes in a little bit more detail. Um, you can see a sample of those there. Um, the guided reading notes provide step-by-step -step lesson plans. Um, which you can choose to either adhere to closely or simply use as a framework to save planning time. Um, whilst planning time is dramatically reduced because you're not having to go off and find everything yourself and link it all together, you can also be sure that there's real consistency in the way that guided reading is delivered across your school. So whether that's being delivered by TAs or teachers, you are all experts in delivering that guided reading session. The notes are really clearly laid out so that you can select the tasks that are most suited to your pupil's needs. So you can see on the screen here that the assessment points are very clearly labelled, that you can see exactly where the comprehension opportunities are um, or the author's craft. So you can work to the short-term targets that you've identified using the Oxford Reading Criterion Scale and really focus in on the area that your groups need to work on. All the planning has been created by educational experts. So the really key thing is that you can be absolutely, absolutely confident that this resource will meet all of the curriculum requirements and will allow your staff to focus on quality first teaching and deliver truly effective guided reading sessions right across the school. Okay, we move on to the teacher's handbook. This is a must read. Now this is the bit I think that people get and then put in a pile mm. and never revisit, okay? But actually, if you invest 30 minutes of your time to read through this, I can guarantee that it will save you far more than that as the year goes on. It provides overarching information to support the teaching of reading using the Project Authorities programme, and the pedagogy behind the series is explained. Strategies and techniques for teaching reading are provided, alongside practical support on getting started, grouping, differentiation, assessment, and the importance of talk. I'm often asked questions in school by schools who have this handbook, and I relay them back to that handbook because it is such a key part of the programme. The book also includes practical discussion prompts, suggestions for quality follow-up activities, and all your national curriculum links, as well as full information on spelling, vocabulary, punctuation, and grammar coverage for each text. So it goes into that level of, of detail. Um, and there's also many cross-curricular opportunities within the programme as well, if you want to link it out into your wider um, topics or curriculum. A really hugely um, popular section of the teacher's guide, and one that I would say you absolutely need to look at, is the matrices, which map out exactly which books in each level best support key objectives. This information is available by Programme of Study, Literacy Outcomes and Oxford Reading Criterion Scale Objectives. So however you're assessing your children, you can easily identify where to find the exact book that will focus on developing skills directly related to the, your particular short-term targets for your group. And this makes, um, to use an analogy that, um, that I really like, it makes your reading um, more like a sniper than a scattergun approach <laughs> where you're really targeting mm. in on exactly what, what the children yeah. need from this session. 
Um, the handbook also has a wealth of photocopyable resources. Um, I know that these are a bit of a, a marmite thing amongst teachers. Some people love them, some not so much. But what I will say is they're really high quality and fit for purpose. They provide meaningful learning activities for pupils. Um, you can use them either before or after reading uh, the book. The guided reading notes clearly state where the opportunities are to use these activities to consolidate your learning. Um, and they can be used in, in any form of guided reading you, know, you want to use. A carousel session, follow-ups to group work, or even as homework. Some of the activity sheets relate to specific titles, and others are more generic. So you've got things like synthesizing or inference grids, or frameworks for writing and vocabulary exercises, which you can also use alongside other texts. <clears throat> Fabulous. Thank you very much. So that's it. That has given us, hopefully, a, a really helpful mm. little overview of PX Origins, the, the guided reading part of PX. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. Now, PX Comprehension Express uh, is another huge part of the Project X suite of resources of the Project X family. Uh, and I'm going to hand over to Nicola, who is going to give us a really nice summary, I know, of what PX Comprehension Express actually is all about. Okay, so thanks again, Andrew. So very quickly, actually, because I know that we're running out of time, but Comprehension Express is specifically a whole class teaching programme um, especially built to help children in years four to six master comprehension. So this teaches 10 comprehension strategies heavily based on research. It's delivered over a, specifically over a 10 week period and designed to fit in with classroom practice. It breaks down the national test questions into five key uh, types to build test skills and confidence. And it's also got diagnostic guidance to close gaps and that essential lesson plan element to give assurance um, and reduce planning time for teachers, which is key, obviously, as Nicola S. Um, spoke about earlier. <laughs> Too many Nicholas. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, so I talked about research, mentioned research just now. So um, the research I mentioned is exemplified in the EEF study, um, Improving Literacy in Key Stage 2. So key points from that study are that comprehension strategies should be described and modelled before pupils practice the strategies. And this is key to this programme. Um, and then if we, just moving on then, if we can just have a look these uh, on this slide, we can see those key strategies um, as they're exemplified in Comprehension Express as expert tips. Um, and um, I spoke about the fact that Comprehension Express prepares pupils for the national tests, plenty of practice, plenty of opportunity in Comprehension Express for children to apply the comprehension strategies um, and to also um, through the workbooks and to apply strategies and practice um, and get those identified test type questions. Um, plenty of opportunity there. Okay, so the structure of the programme itself, you can see that there on the slide, okay, through the, the three um, stages of the programme. So you, we've got the wonderful anthologies, um, we've got the workbooks which support and give opportunity for application, the reading test practice book specifically for year six, for stage three of the programme, which gives children opportunity to apply those strategies again and question types, and all through... Um, the expert tip cards, which are the, the um, recognised research-based comprehension strategies themselves, and all supported by wonderful teaching and assessment handbooks, which are there to support the teachers. Mm. I think um, I like the fact that you mentioned the, the way it's structured there. I think one of the most unusual things about uh, about this bit of the family yeah. is the way that it's designed to be used for 10-week blocks. Well, of course, and it's it's very tight, and it's it's obviously progressive. It's yeah. it's very progressive um, in its in in its um, in its structure. It's quite an unusual structure, but all the better for it. I Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, again, that's given us a beautiful little summary of what uh, be it quick <laughs> is all about. What about the planning, though? What's the planning that comes alongside it? And I think Rachel is going to take us through this. Yeah, so, OK, Andrew. So with all of our programmes, we make recommendations about delivery that are really in the interest of you and your children getting the most out of them. For Comprehension Express, we'd say that the optimum frequency of lessons to maintain a good rate of pace and progression is about three lessons per week over 10 weeks. Um, and we would definitely encourage a minimum of two sessions per week. 
We find that more frequent sessions are conducive to building working memory, and this is, of course, crucial to the complex cognitive process required by comprehension. Um, this is a guide, and of course, teachers are best placed to decide what will work best for their classes. So with that in mind, we also offer guidance in the teaching handbooks about different implementation models to suit different needs, starting with whole class, but also for mixed age groups. And that might better suit smaller schools, for example, in a rural setting. Mm. And finally, an intervention model for children in need of extra support if teachers want to use it in that way. There are specially crafted lesson plans for every one of the 30 lessons per stage of Comprehension Express. Um, each step in the lesson is informed by features of comprehension instruction that research tells us are critical to success. So let's take a closer look at that. Um, so you've got a spread here from the handbook and I'm sure you can't see everything in detail. Um, so I'm just going to give you the headlines and I'd like you to remember the notes have been scripted because this came really strongly to us in the trialing that we did in classrooms of Comprehension Express that teachers said they wanted specific support on how to teach these strategies. It's quite a new approach to lots of people, the modelling of the explicit modelling of comprehension strategies. It's a really effective one, but we wanted to make sure that when teachers are taking the first steps in doing this, they've got our full support. Um, so. All of the strategies that we're teaching here are fruit of the evidence-based research that Nicola talked to you about, about the strategies that successful readers use. A key point of reference for us in the development of the programme was the Education Endowment Fund report, Improving mm. Literacy in Key Stage 2. And we also consulted with some of the best experts in the field, like Di Hatchett, Jill Jordan and Tony Watmuff. The lessons are designed around a sequence of distinct but linked learning episodes and their briefing, preparation, exploring and debriefing. And these follow the principles of teach, practice, apply and review that you'll all be very familiar with. Each learning episode has its own beginning, which is led by the adult, middle, learning activity for children. And you can see the drama activity of this on the example page that you've got in front of you here, if you look very, very closely. <laughs> um, and an adult-led check for and feedback on understanding finishes up. Um, the timing for the lesson overall and each of the episodes were also carefully structured to work within the average concentration span of the children involved. But what I want to draw your attention to, which is, oh, I didn't know that there were those little wow. things. <laughs> Too snazzy for me. Um, so what I'd like to draw your attention to is the Think Aloud, because this is at the heart of the programme. Um, it's absolutely central to ensuring children adopt strategies that are going to enable them to become successful lifelong readers. It's, it's really the heart of this mod explicit modelling of comprehension strategies, um, which was the strongest recommendation that the EEF report made. Um, with the Think Aloud, what the teacher's doing really is just modelling what a good reader does in the moment of reading. And, and, and the, you know, in your class, you are probably the most successful reader and the most experienced reader, I would imagine. So um, it's really great for you to be able to model what you do when you're engaging with the text um, so that children have that example. Um, it's these automatic strategies that we use that we need to sort of really make explicitly clear to children. The power of it is that the, you pause at the appropriate point moment in reading to show them how you're applying those expert tips to unlock meaning for yourself. And lastly, the debrief section makes sure that children have the opportunity to reflect on their learning and explain how they use particular expert tips. And, and that's that base, gradual process of letting go and then becoming more autonomous. So the last thing I'd like to mention about Comprehension Express really is the training. And we really strongly recommend that all teachers new to the programme participate in one of our specially written training courses um, to ensure that the implementation of the programme really goes well and you get the most out of it. A strong start is so important. And we, we found that the training really boosts teachers' confidence to embrace this innovative new approach to teaching vocabulary. And, and people come out of it really brimming with enthusiasm to get started. A huge benefit is that it gives teachers a supportive environment and, and really the mental headspace. We all need to get out of our working environment every now and again and really have that headspace to, to try things out and to think about something new and to share experiences with each other. So the think alouds are a great case in point, you know, having the chance to try them out for yourself and have them modeled for you, you try them out. It's also a great opportunity to, to ask any questions about any doubts that you have about implementation. Brilliant. Thanks, Rachel. So we've thought this evening mainly about 
Project X Origins, the guided reading scheme, uh, and Project X Comprehension Express. But we just wanted, while you're here, uh, just to introduce you very briefly to some other members of the Project X family, because it is quite a wide suite of resources. And uh, Nicola, you're going to take us through that. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, I should be uh, as swift as I can be. I know we're, uh, we're, we're running on here, but uh, I'll just go through the other areas briefly. So you can see from the slide in front of you that the Project X family includes a number of elements. We have Project X phonics, we have the origins, which includes some fantastic new graphic text for deep level comprehension work. We have Project X alien adventures, providing independent reading practice. Project X code, which is a reading intervention program for um, years two to four. Big Writing Adventures uh, is a whole school writing program, and we've talked about Project X Comprehension Express. So, in brief, uh, Project X Phonics provides extra phonics practice for children who need extra support. It is really simple, easy, a pick up and go resource which has everything you need for small group or one to one work. It's a kind of um, keep up, not catch up. Um, Project X Phonics has games, activities and reading practice, so for those children who might be struggling to keep up with the whole class, uh, it's some extra, um, a little bit of extra input for them. Okay. Project X Code, this is a really, really amazing resource. It's a, a proven reading intervention program for children years two to four who are working a year or more behind where you would want them to be. Um, it's high interest, low ability, highly motivational, and it focuses on developing phonics comprehension and vocabulary. Now, the really key thing about this program is it involves children entering an exciting micro world and working their way through various domes of a magical theme park. What they don't realise is they're actually working their way through the phonics progression at mm. the same time and the code keys they have to find to get onto the next dome are actually uh, little phonics assessments. Um, I've seen this in practice in many, many schools. It was used in Oxfordshire as part of the Oxfordshire Reading Campaign. Um, and schools were just absolutely amazed at the way the children engaged with it. Um, the programme has full teaching notes provided, as well as all support activities for every single session. Rigorous assessment is inbuilt, um, and it's something that really, really makes a difference, and children just absolutely love, and, and the people who deliver it love as well. Again, it's a very easy, off-the-shelf resource that can be effective, effectively delivered by teaching assistants with everything they need there at their fingertips. Okay, Alien Adventures. Alien Adventures um, is independent reading for reception to year six. The early books are fully decodable and they're all finely leveled to ensure a smooth progression. You have teaching support alongside this programme, even though it is uh, designed for independent reading, there's still lots of guidance and support um, detailing phonics, vocabulary, grammar and comp comprehension opportunities in every book. There are also linked ebooks which provide independent comprehension, grammar, and punctuation practice for the children to uh, do themselves. Okay, we can move on to Big Writing Adventures. Big Writing Adventures um, is a truly fantastic program. It uses proven big writing methodology combined with exciting online material. And, and the really key thing about this is it gives the children a real reason and a purpose for writing. Um, in terms of teaching support, you can be sure the programme has full curriculum coverage, for grammar punctuation, um, all text types and all genres are covered, and there's lots and lots of opportunities to link the lessons to wider curriculum areas. The key thing about this programme, um, well, there's lots that's good about it, but the focus is really on talk and vocabulary development, with the premise being that if a child can't talk about it, then they can't write about it. So there's lots and lots yeah. of oral work and partner work that goes into um, the lessons. The Writing Criterion Scale provides rigorous writing assessment and helps you to identify short and medium term writing targets for your children. Um, and this is a, a great resource because it's really, really flexible. You can use the whole programme or you can use the elements which um, you, you think are going to be most important to your children. But it's immensely time saving because not only do you have uh, teacher resources and all of your lesson plans, you actually have every single exemplar text. You have text for up leveling. Um, and that means that you're not looking for that piece of text that 
gives the example of that grammar point or um, that area of comprehension that you want. It's all there. And most importantly, all of the elements are editable, printable and adaptable. Mm. So you can absolutely make them your own whilst knowing that you've got a framework, which means mm. your coverage of what you need to be doing is all there and in place. Brilliant. Thanks, Nicola. So uh, we are going to wrap things up now. I just want to say that there are great uh, resources to support Project X online. Uh, we were going to kind of delve into those and have an explore of those, but we're going to leave yeah. that. For maybe now. we can just invite people to follow the link themselves, maybe in their own Brilliant. time, yes. and, and have a look. And yes. absolutely yeah. well worth yeah, thanks, Rachel. a follow yeah. there, respect. Yeah. Because they are, they are great. So we haven't got time to delve into those now, but do certainly go and investigate those later on. Um, I know we have had some questions uh, coming in tonight, but we'll reply to those individually, I think. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll reply to your questions individually, I think, because we are over time. Uh, if you're listening at school, I'm sure you're very keen to get in the car and head home. Yeah, uh, if, you're, if you're listening at home, I'm sorry you've already missed the start of Neighbours. But before, <laughs> before we do finish, uh, before we do finish, Nicola S., there might well be people, uh, teachers at home, who do want to know a little bit more. Uh, what do they need to do? Okay, thanks, Andrew. Um, okay, to find out more in your own time, you can go to oxfordhour.co.uk. If you have not already joined us, then go to the top right-hand side of your screen and click Join Us. It will cost you nothing. You put in your email address, create a password, say you're a teacher, and you're in. Once you're in the website, you can search either by school issue, for example, guided reading, or by brand, so Project X. And then you'll find lots of wraparound support for Project X resources, including CPD videos. So, for example, for Comprehension Express, you can watch sample lessons. There are printable materials. There are videos. There are free trial lessons for Comprehension Express, uh, Big Writing Adventures, and the Project X Origins graphic novels. And there's lots of fun stuff to do as well, and some great video clips mm -hmm. to show the children to get them engaged. Um, Oxford Owl also has a parent area, so um, we would encourage that you share this information with parents and there's lots on there that they can do uh, with their children at home. If you would like somebody to come into school and talk to you uh, in more detail about Project X, um, any area of it, you can contact your local primary educational consultant. If you go to www.oxfordprimary.co.uk forward slash consultant um, you can arrange a free no obligation visit from your local um, OUP contact and what we do is we come into school we discuss your requirements and we help you to identify the resources that best suit your needs um, and we'd be more than happy to do that so thank you very much great stuff and it is worth mentioning that our sales reps are not on commission there's no high pressure is there it's all very absolutely. very much about supporting schools absolutely great well we had half an hour and we've taken 36 minutes we had half an hour <laughs> to to give you a little flavor about px to help you to to decide really whether it may be right for your school. Uh, we hope we've done that. We hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Thanks everyone. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.